Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So a couple of days ago, Representative Steve King put out a racist tweet that has received a lot of condemnation and there has been a lot of discussion about this tweet. And I want to take time out now to talk about this. So he put out this tweet in support of a racist, anti-immigration, anti-Muslim Dutch politician by the name of Wilders. And this is what Representative Steve King said. He said, Wilders understands that culture and demographics are our destiny. We can't restore our civilization with somebody else's babies. And that racist tweet was retweeted by former KKK member and Grand Wizard, David Duke. David Duke expressed support for Steve King. In fact, he said, God bless Steve King. That's what he said. And he also said this. He said, just in case you were thinking about moving, sanity reigns in Iowa's fourth congressional district. Make America great again. So this statement has been condemned as racist and rightfully so, because that's all it is. It's a fear of non-white people immigrating to America. It's a fear of non-Christian people immigrating to America. It's a fear of a black planet, as you know, the group Public Enemy talked about years ago. It's a fear of the browning of America. It's a fear of uh, other cultures, for instance, Muslim cultures and Latino cultures and all that kind of stuff. It is classic racism, classic anti-immigrant uh, sentiment. It's classic xenophobia. That's what it is. And it has been rightfully condemned as such. Uh, Representative Evan McMillan talked about how it's un-American, you know, it's un-American ideas of white nationalism. And I want to talk about this. You know, while I'm glad that this representative uh, McMillan actually spoke out on this issue, I, th I think that it misses the ball. You know, his comments missed the ball for a couple of reasons. I mean, they missed the mark for a couple of reasons. You know, number one, you know, I think that this type of hate speech needs to be condemned as such. It needs to be called hate speech it needs to be called racism. It needs to be called white supremacy and bigotry. Um, this term white nationalism is nothing but a polite euphemism. And we got to cut that out. We got to call this stuff what it is. Later for pussyfooting, later for beating around the bushes, we got to be up front with these races and call them out for what they are. Call them out for being white supremacists call them out for being bigots and racists. Also, I mean, this idea that white nationalism or white supremacy is un-American is just not accurate because the nature of this country, the core of this country is racism. Racism runs through the blood of this country. Racism is as American as apple pie. This country was founded on racism and it is maintained by racism. It was founded on the genocide of the native peoples. It was founded on the enslavement of black people. There's nothing un-American about racism. There's nothing un-American about white supremacy because this country was founded by racists, founded by slave owners, those so-called founding fathers that people are taught to honor and respect own slaves, own black people. But that's a whole nother video. But the point is this. This man, Stephen King, Steve King, needs to be roundly condemned. He needs to be marginalized in Congress. People need to call this exactly what it is, racism and white supremacy. And, you know, this is nothing new with Steve King. It's not new at all. This is a man who wondered about what kind of contributions non-white people have contributed to human civilization. This is what he, he wondered out loud, as if to suggest that only white people have achieved anything in this world, as if only white people have built civilizations. When, 
you know, there would be no white civilization if it wasn't for African civilization. If it wasn't for all these other civilizations that Europe stole from. But this man wants to talk about and actually raise the question whether or not people of color have contributed anything to human civilization. So this man is not new to racism. This is who this man is. He is racist to the core. This is a man who, when asked about racial profiling in Ferguson, this man basically condoned racial profiling. And he talked about people coming from a, a single origin, a single continental origin, speaking about black people, you know, around these issues of, you know, violence and things that have occurred. This is a man who tried to do everything that he could to prevent Harriet Tubman's image from being on the $20 bill. This man is a racist to the core. This is not some isolated incident. This is not some kind of uh, misstatement. This is who this man is. He is racist to the core. And the thing about this is, you know, the thing that's so significant about this is this this isn't some YouTube personality. This isn't some uh, backwoods racist. This isn't some red mech on some trailer park. This is a representative in Congress, somebody who has the power to implement and enact laws that are uh, that could be detrimental to black people and other people of color. This man has power behind his words. He has power. And this is what real racism looks like. Racism is not just somebody with an opinion who has no power. It's about a system. It's about people that actually have power to implement their racist and despicable ideas. And this guy, Representative Steve King, is such an example. And this is another prime example of why elections matter, why our votes matter. We need to vote in representatives that can counter these far right bigots and racists like Steve King. This man comes from Iowa. I mean, this is a place that's white, snow white. This place is white as hell. So, you know, in a place like that, it's difficult for African Americans to really affect the election in Iowa, but you can affect elections where you live, in your communities, in black communities, to make sure that we have aggressive representatives who will counter people like Steve King. And it's important to note that not only does this man have a history of making these racist statements, again, it's about his legislative power. This man has a horrible track record when it comes to civil rights. The ACLU gave this man a 0% when it comes to civil liberties and civil rights. The NAACP gave this man an F for his legislative record. This man has an abysmal record, and these statements are just an outward manifestation of this man's hatred of this man's bigotry and racism, and he needs to be condemned and alienated. And also, this whole thing is a prime example of the importance of intersectionality. You have these charlatans and hustlers on here, on YouTube, who wanna downplay the, the importance of coalition building. They wanna downplay the importance of intersectionality when it's vital. This man, Steve King, he hates immigrants, he hates uh, Muslims, and he hates black people and other people of color. All of those groups that are affected by people like Steve King need to unite and fight together to make sure that people like Steve King are not elected, to make sure that these people are marginalized so that they don't have the ability to affect public policy. That's what we need to do. All of these groups that are affected by this racism and this white supremacy need to unite against the Donald Trumps and the Steve Kings. That's what we have to do. That's what we must do. So those are my thoughts about this. Tell me what you think. Please rate, 
comment, and subscribe. Peace.